Good morning, everybody. Good morning. How are you? Welcome to Rise and Shine. You know, today I, I, I want to talk to you about trust because trust is always such an issue for me and, and most probably for you too when you're walking through something that's long term or even when you're walking through something for one day <laughs> and or, or, or weeks. It, I find trusting God, it can be very difficult and because it's so hard because trusting is something you don't see. You see, um, we have a book club at my house and for three weeks and this is the name of the book it's not supposed to be this way i think it's a very uh interesting book if you'd like to pick it up for a summer read it's about this woman and and um you know her hard time she's christian it's her hard times and how she went through it and one day her husband just came home after years of marriage and said well i found somebody else so you know it just devastated her and inside the church body she was devastated as well. So it was really hard and I can understand that. I understand that trusting God takes a lot out of you because when we studied in Job this past spring, I love Job only because I, I realized that it's so easy to see what the devil's doing. We can see the sickness, we can see the devastation, we can see the hurt and the pain, we can see the death, we can see the, the loneliness. We can't always see what God's doing, can we? We can't always see what he's doing in the midst of my problems. I can't always see what God is doing when I'm in pain. I can't always see what God's doing when I've been walking this walk for five years or two years or one year or one month. It doesn't matter when you're in pain and you're discouraged and you're depressed. Life is hard to hold on to something you can't see. But you see, that's exactly what the devil is looking for. That's exactly what he's hoping for. He's he's not he wants he's not trying to coddle us when he says, "Oh, you have um, de depression. I'm so sorry," and and we kind of suck into ourselves and we go, "Yeah, I'm gonna just I'm overwhelmed. I'm just gonna take the day off." I can't handle this. I'm just going to sit back and do nothing. He's not coddling us. He wants to crush us. That's what being overwhelmed is about. That's what pain is about. That's what his de devastation is about. That's what his depression is about. That's what his discouragement is about. It's all about him separating us from God. And trust is something I think we have to work on all the time and even more so because the devil, we can see what he's doing and we can't see what God's doing. So we have to trust what God is doing. We have to trust the hand of the giver. We have to trust that your God loves you so much. He knows what you're going through. And even though you don't see him, don't take what he, that the silence as, as being a, a, a something that's, that's awful. Don't take his silence as something that is a rejection. Don't take that you don't see the hand moving as something that is he is he's punishing you don't take the opposite negative feeling because that's what the devil wants us to do he wants us to take that what we do is trust the hand of god trust the hand of the giver trust your god who loves you and created you and he doesn't want you to go through this and he is working behind the scenes and stuff we can't see to fix your problem this is what it says in psalms 9 10 and those who knew your name Put their trust in you for you O oh lord have not forsaken those who seek you i found that in my most hardest times when i'm trusting god the best thing that i can do when trust comes hard is to seek god to seek god in his word to read the psalms to read uh john to read the gospels to read corinthians and romans just read all you can and glean from what he's trying to tell you and it, lifts you up and gives you courage. Let me pray for you. So if you're going through a trusting uh, in, in something that you can't see, let's pray. Oh Lord God, I know you're with me. I know that you're working for me. I know that you're not against me. And your word says, who can be against me when my God is for me? And Lord God, I want to change my feelings around to be strong and to have courage and to have strength. I want to uplift my spirits, Lord God, so I can stand on the word of God and stand on your promises that says, you are tried and true and you are my God. And I'm victorious. I am victorious and I am blessed and I am favored. When I walk in a room, the atmosphere changes. I thank you, sweet Jesus, that you are, you give me love that abounds me and you give me strength. And I can walk through this in the name of Jesus. 
I pray that everybody's going to have a great day and we will rise above and that we will rise and we shine above every problem, everything that the devil throws you. You are more than a conqueror. Amen and amen. Go out and make it a rise and shine day. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.